Capstone Works training number one, and basically we're just going to do a quick introduction. In order to have a high quality recording, we uh, have a smaller screen than normal. So here we go. Hi, Tim. How are you? I'm good, Rob. How are you? Perfect. So uh, I just want to walk through as if uh, I've never touched it before, if you don't mind. Can you just give me a brief introduction? And as you're walking through, explain to me if you're touching a key or anything. Just give me the menus and, and layout of Rhinestone Works number one. Uh, okay, well this is the user interface for Rhinestone Works. Uh, what you're looking at on screen is the uh, blank size or plate size uh, that would define the working area of the, the design you're working on. Can I ask you a favor right there? Sure. Right off the top, let's go to millimeters because uh, rhinestones are always in millimeters and it's a bit easier to be more accurate. Okay, so the easiest way to switch from uh, inches to metric is to click on the uh, rulers here. You're talking a left click always? Uh, that's a left click, and then uh, click on the millimeters and uh, release. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is on the mini motif maker, for example, I know that the work area is 30 by 30 centimeters, so 300 by 300 millimeters. Can you set that up? Yes, if you click on the uh, layout menu and then go to plate size, and I'm going to set uh, the width to be 300 and the height to be 300 and I'm just going to click on OK at that point and here's your 3 by 300 uh, plate size. Okay, do I have to do that every single time now or when I, re when I turn it on the next time or boot up, is it going to be remembered? It will remember that. Okay, perfect. So now, sorry to interrupt you, go ahead with a brief intro. Uh, okay, so if you want to use the text tool as an example, uh, you would click on this one right here called the text tool. Okay. And if you want to draw shapes, uh, you click on the shapes tool over here. There's the ability to draw circles, ellipses, rectangles, polygons, stars, arrows, and uh, fans. If you wanted to draw uh, lines, or um, you can click on the uh, pencil tool here. And for example, you could uh, create arcs or do free editing or in um, edit the points as well using this particular tool. Okay, you want to touch on all of them in the corner there in the top to bottom left side? Uh, this is the output tool. So once once your design has been completely set up with rhinestones and you want to output the design to the uh, motif maker, you would just click on, you can click on this button. Uh, this is the measure tool. It uh, allows you to measure distances or sizes of objects on screen. This is the text tool. Uh, this is the magnifying tool. Are there any shortcut keys for the magnifying zooming in and out? <coughs> yeah, actually, if you use the F6 key and the F7 key and the F8 key, those are all very typical uh, uh, or zooming type uh, hotkeys for uh, the magnifying tools. And what does each one do quickly? Uh, F6 zooms back. F7 uh, zooms the selected uh, item on screen. And F8 zooms the sign plate. Okay. Uh, I see a prism below the pencil there. Uh, this is the vectorization tool or the scanning tools. So say, for example, you wanted to uh, scan something in off of your scanner. You would generate or bring the artwork into Rhinestone Works, and then you would use this tool to convert it from uh, pixels or ra a raster image into vector artwork. Is raster, what's raster again? Raster is uh, an type of file format where um, the image is comprised of a bunch of dots or pixels. Um, and it's typically something that's generated from a scanner, as an example. The problem with that is that uh, when you output to a, an engraving machine or a, um, something like the Motif Maker, you have to send it lines or arcs. So you have to convert that raster image into vector or lines and arcs in order to um, run the machine properly. Okay, and um, anything else below that there? Uh, yeah, there's actually... Uh, oh, one more thing. Sorry to interrupt you. Can I just take a bitmap that I have? Let's say a customer sends me a file. Yes. Do I have to have a scanner? No, you can actually, through if you click on the file menu and then import, yeah. uh, in the import window here, uh, if you look under the files of type, yeah. there is um, a uh, number of different file formats that you can import in the most popular file formats are, say, Adobe Illustrator, AI, Corel's Corel's uh, CMX, uh, I think they call it a CMX file here. Uh, we also 
do bitmaps, BMP files. Uh, so basically anything people might ever need. Yeah, encapsulated PostScript or ETS files are quite popular, uh, as well as GIF, and there's HPGL plot files, uh, JPEG. Okay, that's fine. The other, the other popular file format is uh, PDF or portable document format. Okay, what's the difference between Photoshop and AI?